Hello everybody, my name is Biffa and here we are in Teville in City Skylines. I thought I'd start off with a little bit of a speed build of this area on the side of my city. I really want to get the population up, so that is the plan. I thought I'd just have a little bit of a chat with you while that is going. And my chair will squeak in the background as I'm getting myself comfortable grabbing my cup of tea. Yes, so, did you enjoy your time off? Let me know in the comments below. Enjoyed some nice relaxing time with my family, got away a bit to all the rest of my family. Yeah, really good, really nice time. And uh, it's been weird getting back to uh, building again in City Skylines. I feel like I'm so out of the habit. Um, the Fix It episode that you uh, saw yesterday, I struggled with that one so much. I had my game crash a couple of times, which I think some of you would have seen. I mentioned in the video on Twitter or something. So a mod somewhere has been updated to do something and getting in the way of another one. I don't know. When I've got time, I'll check it all out. But um, just to let you know, the plan for January, um, as always, I've left doing my tax returns right until the last minute. Don't worry, we're not talking about tax returns for a video. Wouldn't that be boring? Um, but uh, yeah, so within the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing that. So there's not going to be as many videos every week as you're used to. I would say two a week instead of three a week. So keep your eye open for that. We're going to be doing, I'm just looking at the video that you're watching as well. Lots of high density buildings are going to go into this area. Really want to beef up the population because I'd like to expand my industry and start really making some money from the industry. I've also, I may or may not mention it in a moment when we get to the actual video. Oh, little roundabout in there, got to have those. Um, I'm going to remove the real-time mod for a while because as much fun as it is getting all the extra traffic and stuff like that, and we all love dealing with the traffic, um, it slows the growth of a city down uh, because it's making it more, in inverted commas, real-time. Um and I don't have the time for real time. I want not real time, super sped up time. So um, I need more growth in the city. I need to get things moving for the sake of the series. And it was, I, I, I realized I was struggling to do things in TV and I couldn't work out why, because it's my city, I love it. And it was like, it's because it's so slow, nothing was growing. So uh, yeah, so real time mod is gone for now, but we'll see that may come back in the future. I'm just popping up one of the fences here from the city park around this area, just sort of cording it off a bit. And so we don't have, accidentally have houses growing along the main road. I like the way that looks as well. That's nice. Um, and yeah, and then we, once we've done this, we're going to need to put all the services and things in. Then we're going to get into our industry building and make sure we've set up all the traffic manager for all the different junctions and the things. Thinking ahead, make sure we're doing what we can to make sure we don't get any traffic. Now we're going to jump into the future to Biffa from the future who's built the city. See you later. Okay, so we've got this area built in here. Something I would like to do actually is just set up some houses along the front. Let's just make sure that this is big enough to take in all of that. And then we've got to make sure that this area has got all the stuff that it needs to care for its needs and to grow and all that sort of thing. There we go. Let's do that. Let's speed it up. So you might have noticed, can't remember whether I've mentioned it already, that I've removed the real-time mod for now. It was just slowing down the expansion of the city. There we go. Yeah, that's what we want. Look at that. Get some of these nice. I like this sort of beachfront property along here. Very nice. Very nice. Um, we might put it back in again. We shall see how we go. But for now... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let us just do a little bit of management of some of these roads here. I'm going to use that asymmetrical road that we have. This one, even though it's a different type of road than what else we've got going on here. There we go. So that's how we're going to do that. And then I'm going to use Traffic Manager to fertile with the lane. So we've got one right and two straight on. There we go. And that's got that coming out. I think it's put traffic lights in here now. Yes, it has. Yeah, don't really need those. Let's remove those. And we're going to do giveaway coming out there. That is good. And this one here. I, uh, shall I do the same there? Yeah, I think I'll do the same here as well. Going the other way. There we go. Like that. And we just make sure we've got one lane for turning left. And the other two straight on. Sorry, this little box is teeny tiny. But I record in 4K. And that's just the way it is. And then I might just do actually the same coming into here as well. There we go. So even though it's not that busy here at the moment, at some point it may get busier. So yeah, we'll get that set up. Nice little junctions. Uh, and then if we sort of come along here, I want this to be a main road as well. So we're going to say giveaway coming out there. 
giveaway coming out there even though that's the main sort of thoroughfare i want to keep this outside road faster so we're going to do that we're going to do that i think that then connects up there and then we do the same coming down the other way like that keep this main road going i may change this little junction here depends how busy it gets we haven't got too many cars coming in and out of here so it should be okay that roundabout set up all right we've got parking on this road here i'd like to change that for the parking lots here we go yes yeah, so like we did here we've got these little parking areas and just kept some of the main road parking free so for instance like this section here Let's have a look. That's too big. That one there, like that. So we get a nice little parking area. There we go. That gives some nice little parking in there. And then I might just drop another couple around here as well. Here we go. Down here like this. So we're going to have this off-road parking. Hmm, do you know what? Let's move this road down a little bit. There we go. Not too shabby. And then I can fill this in as well. There we go. That's good. So what I'm going to do now is ban the parking on this main road here. Ban, 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 ban. There we go. And more people will use that parking area. And then we've got this one over here. Are they parking on the roundabout? What is going on with the traffic? Oh, yeah. Everyone's trying to get out up there. Okay. Let's just ban all this parking. There we go. I might just add another little parking road in here. There we go. Fantastic. And then we'll just finish off by making sure that you're going to give way. You're going to give way. That you're going to give way. And also, I want to just move that down a bit. We've got some funky lighting glitching going on down there. So if we just bring that down a touch... Hopefully that'll get rid of that. It might just be that we need to just move this. I'll put I'll put some trees there and cover that up. That's fine. So let's just make sure this is all give way. That's give way. Oh my goodness me. That is like backing up like nobody's business. You're going to give way. There we go. Excellent. So that should be everything's okay. Now what is going on here? Yeah, well, I think we need a traffic light in here. Let's try a traffic light. And let's also mess with these lanes to make sure that... Uh, We've got one for right, one for straight on, one for left. So we're going to do that there. So they'll use all of these lanes. We're going to say don't switch in the middle. But when you come off of here and go up, you can pick your lane and then go. Uh, this here could do with more lanes as well. So I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to grab a slightly larger road for here. And for there. And this here, this this road here is far too close to this junction. See, I built this without thinking about how big the whole thing was going to get. But we might be able to get away with it. We might. So, let's see, let's see. So, we'll have one for right, one for straight on, and one for left there. And then we'll do the same here. If you let me pick that one, one for right, one for straight on, one for left. And there's not too much traffic coming down this area. So hopefully that will be okay. What's going on there? Oh, there's no spot for a building there, is there? Look, the traffic's gone down already. Just adjusting the lanes like that has made all the difference. 80%. Good, good. Well, we're not doing loads of traffic today. That was just uh, sort that. And then we need to make sure they've got all their services and things. And then they'll start upgrading. So let me just place some of these down to cover this area. And then I'll be back with you. And you can hear, look, everybody's upgrading because they're now getting their needs covered, which is good. Uh, for the schools, I think I'm just going to put a little area in here just so they've got somewhere they can come to that's off of the main road. So let's just put something together. Uh, we're just going to take a road straight off of here. It's going to mess up all of my electricity stuff, but I'm not too worried about that. That can go to there. And then that can go... We have that hook up to there. No, let's just go around like that. Uh, hopefully that will give us enough space. And then we're going to put in... Can we fit in the, these ones? The community school. Because this is a self-sufficient area. Have I not quite left enough room? And that, that's curved, that road. But that's okay. There we go. Use anarchy. Excellent. We'll squeeze that one in there. Very good. Very good. There we go. Excellent. We can fit a creative arts building in there as well. Look at that. Looking nice. Looking nice. Nice little area. And we just set up the roads as well in case it gets busy. I don't think this is going to get too busy here. So we're going to get giveaway there. Giveaway there. That should be fine. So that's going to sort of cover this area. I'm going to have some other maybe school type buildings over here at some point. But for now, that will 
do. We don't have any transportation over here. That is the other thing. We do have lots of buses. By the way, I went through my buses because some of these routes um, had like 20 buses on, which was absolutely nuts. It was costing us a fortune, um, but I've changed them. And then some of these, we've got two vehicles on our match day shuttle. And if we have a look at this, look, we've got 408 people waiting here. Which is unbelievable. Look at all these people waiting. So they're wanting to get to different places. Well, they're going... Let's have a look. Where's that bus route going? Oh, they're coming from here and going to the train. Oh, that's what it is. Ah, and then they're getting the train. So we need more trains. That's what it is. Oh, I don't know, though. No, they're getting off the train and waiting there. And then being taken out. Of course, because they're at the bus stop, aren't they? Uh, duh, Biff, I get your brain in gear. So we just need more buses. Yeah, we do. We just need more buses or bigger buses. What have we got on here? We've got this one, which I've got no idea how many it holds. That holds 29. <laughs> the poor people. There's 79 people on a bus that's got seats for 29. What's that one? 75. Oh, we had the biggest bus. Let's just leave it on that then. And we'll, we'll add a couple more buses. Four. There we go. And that will take care of that. Good, good, good. Now, something you may or may not know that you can check on your buildings to see what they need to upgrade. Because we've got 26,000 people at the moment. Let's just pick this building here. And we hover over this. And it says, educate more citizens to allow the building to be upgraded. Ah, so if we just have a look over here at our education facilities, we're already one student away from the capacity of the community school. And if we have a look at this one there, that is filling up fast. So we definitely need more community schools in here. Um, and because these are all nice big high density residential buildings i think most of them are going to be yeah problems with education so oh also do you know what i didn't put in here is any crematoriums let's just pop a couple of those in if i can find a little spot that will go there that'll be fine i think yes good so we desperately need some more schools in this area i'm just using my eyeballs to see i mean we could I put like a fence around here to sort of fence off this area. Although this fence has disappeared here. I might just move some of that fencing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's a fence there. There we go. Excellent. Just to sort of... I did that round here as well. But I'm just going to squeeze in, I think, on this little spot here. Yeah, a couple of schools. These small schools. That is not the button for small schools. That is this one here. So we're basically going to fit one in there. Be interesting to see how quickly this one fills up as well. Oh, there we go. Look. Look. See them upgrading. You can hear the ping, ping, ping of all the upgrades. See them upgrading. Arrows. That is what we want to see. So always worth checking that if, if your buildings are not upgrading. So, for instance, if we can just close that down a second. Like, if we came over here and looked in this area. So, they're okay. Increase the value of the land. This one here, increase the value of the land. So they're going to need parks and things like that over here to get them to upgrade. Now, we have got this little water area I was going to do something with. I might come back to that in a minute. Again, high school struggles down here. We've got this one is, oh, I think it's distance as well of traveling. So we could do with a high school over here too. I'm going to squeeze one. I'm going to use one of the other sorts of buildings. Let's have a look. Let's use... Oh, I've got public libraries, of course. Yeah, look at this. This is nearly filled up. I don't know why that's only got out of 190. <laughs> and this had out of 203. Oh, 190 as well. They've evened out. Okay, fair enough. So with all that growth going on, that also means that our industry areas over here are going to be getting a nice bonus. So tea tree oil, we're nearly up to the amount of workers that we need to upgrade to the next level. Oh, we need to grow this. To give a possible 350 jobs. At the minute, we've only got 169. Oh, darn it. I misread that. How's this one going over here? Earl and Gray's Stone Supply. Could not be too far away from that one. And where's the other one? Over here somewhere. So 150, 106. Yeah, so we need to expand these a bit. Let's just concentrate on this one. Because we have 140 jobs. We need to get to 150 jobs. So we're not that far off. 
yeah let's do that so let's dive into our industry tab let's get this one here the ore industry so i was thinking of adding a sea mining vessel we're right on the coast along here and we've got this one here seabed mining vessel but we don't have any ore down here so what i'm going to do is use this tool here ground resources and get this ore brush and can i paint that in the sea yes i can so i'm going to add an ore area here there we go and we are going to add that into this area which uh, be a bit of fun why not why not so let's get our industry area which is this one let's cover all of this and all of that zippity doo da very good and then we're going to pop this on the end and see if we can attach that to the road network so let's go do you know what i'm going to do actually i'm going to make this a little bit more industrial by using oh man it's been ages since i've done some building in city skylines and i'm feeling really rusty you know trying to find where things are and all that sort of stuff but we shall get there we shall get there i want to put a key wall on here so let's do this Then at the end here, can I just use the move it mod to squidge that into there? There we go. Look like that's joined up that end. And this end will leave at the moment, not too worried about that. There we go. Much better. And then we can build right up against that. Perfect. And that can go there. 8,800 units per week. That sounds good to me. We've got the money. And then they're going to just need some road access out of here. So let's grab our industry road. There we go. That thing is now trucking, which is fantastic. Be interesting to see. Oh, there we go. Look, we've already got these trucks going. Where is he heading to? That's what I want to know. Are we going to cause a humongous traffic jam? So he's now coming all the way down here. And all the way... Where's he going? What? He's just selling it. What? What, what do you mean? What? Okay, let's just have a quick look. See if we have my exporting ore products. Do we not have anything for turning ore into stuff? I thought we did. Uh, sand storage. Our storage is full. Well, that would make sense why he's not doing that. So let's go a little bit more storage then. Uh, we can cover that. We've got this one here as well. Ore storage. Which I think is like a different color. Looks a little bit different. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And then we'll try and sort of make this look yeah that's that one there isn't it let's fill up this square there we go so now we've got plenty of storage they're both on balanced even though it's totally full up which is interesting because we could be selling this and making a lot more money but at the moment we're not it's all being kept in here what have we got here all mine all mine so i'm wondering whether we could do with some sort of industry train cargo type thing going on in this area because we're making a lot of products that will be uh that idea will be shelved and we'll come back to that a little bit later i think so how are we doing with our workers let's have a look oh look area bonus so we've got 190 workers we've gone up a level yep so we're heading for level three which is good area bonus efficiency plus four and pollution minus 10 which is good making hardly any money so basically, we just need to get a ton more workers and then we'll be able to upgrade, which will be great. Something we don't have in here is the ore industry maintenance building. So I definitely think we could do with popping one of those in. Where could we put that? Let's just go out, squeeze in there, squeeze in down here. No, it's got to be in this area. Let's pop that there. And then some workers barracks as well to try and encourage more to move in. Yeah, I want to make the workers' barracks look nice. Like somewhere like you'd like to live. Um, I'm just wondering if we could just pop them down here for now. So we have this little road come off of here. There we go. Make sure that that is all in this zone as well. This area is getting pretty big, isn't it? It's getting pretty big. And then we'll add some of these workers' barracks in. There we go. And each of these gives a bonus to the area as well. Worker sufficiency up by 5% to a maximum of 100%. So eventually we could put a whole absolute ton of these in. But for now, we're just going to go with what we've got. And then we just make sure they've got water. And then we'll just leave this thing running see how it's going to go. Oh, now we have up to 400 workers. Look, there we go. So as soon as we hit that, 
We will upgrade again to level three. Excellent. Hopefully, we'll start making a lot more money. Let's just make sure that, before we forget, that that's set up correctly. So those guys out there keep going. I'm just wondering, if we sent oh, these to empty, we would sell everything that's in there. We do have an ore grinding mill, which is making the metals for us. That is basically where we could be making the money. And we've got all these ores in here, which need to be used, and they're barely being used. And we've got these ore mines making even more ores. I really want to turn as many of those into metals as we can. So what else could we put in that would help that to happen? Let's have a look. We have our glass manufacturing plant, which is pretty big. We need to like open this area up. Let's let's fill all this area up here. So that could probably go in here if we just extend this road a little bit. Let's use net picker. Grab that road there. And we're going to draw that all the way down. Yeah, let's take it out past there. So if we get our glass manufacturing plant... Oh, it goes long ways. That's annoying when that happens. But we'll pop that there. So they're going to start using the ore that we have in here to make glass, which later on we're going to need in a factory for sure. Here they come. Oh, you can't <laughs> you can't cross over there, can you? You're going to go around, drop it off. There we go, and then leave. Yeah, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. And then hopefully we'll see this go down and we'll start selling more glass, which would be great. And I'm just going to put a little storage area here. In fact, I'm going to move this over one. Let's just move that up to there. And I'm going to put a little warehouse storagey thing in here. There we go. Just a little small warehouse. And that is going to have glass. Just so we don't get this so filled up with glass that it can't make any more, and then it will get stored in there, and then it will get sold. So I'm going to put that on empty. So it's there if we need it. But if we don't need it, it will just get sold automatically out. But that will be good. Oh, look, we've done it. We've upgraded to level three, and we're heading up to level four already, which is fantastic. One, two, three, and this is level four. So we're producing all the items that we need. Could do with a few more workers to get to the next level, but that is going absolutely brilliant. I think these warehouses give workers as well, do they not? Yeah, 19 out of 19 workers. So I don't think we're going to be that far off. How is our ore reserves going? Still absolutely tons of ore. Do you know what? I'm going to put another processing building in here. We just want to make the best use of this ore that we've got. So rotary kiln... Uh, iron ore pellets, that is pretty big. That could go right on the end there. It's going to cost us 30,000. Yeah, that'll be good. We're going to expand this road out. Oh, there we go. Isn't that looking great? And that is going to start sending out some stuff as well. Ore and metals. Let's not forget. Let's put another little warehouse in here, just in case. Should we go with a medium one for here? Slightly larger. Slightly larger warehouse. Yeah, let's go with that one. And that is making metals. So we're going to put that as empty. And we're going to put metals on there just as an overflow. That is, I'm sure, going to be giving us more workers than we're going to need. 545. Oh, we're like five. Maximum five workers away. I want to get this. I want to get this up to the next level. Uh, let's just pop that there to there. I think another. What else? What other manufacturing do we have? Let's use them all. Fiberglass. So that's going to make glass the same as this other one. And that is quite small, isn't it? So we could actually pop that over here. Yeah, let's make that area bigger. And we're going to pop this one down here. So they're not all right next to each other. And then we're going to put a teeny tiny warehouse here that will also hold glass as well. So we'll have that on empty. We'll have that on glass. I mean, we're spending a lot of money doing all of this. Well, let's keep an eye on this area in the episodes to come of T-Ville. I just had to rebuild it again because my game crashed. So if it looks a little bit different, that would explain why. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check out the next video on the screen as well. My traffic fixes. I'm sure you enjoy those as much as I do. And I will see you all very soon for the next episode. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.